Hey YouTubers, it's Radfox here, and I've got another TSB for you on a problem that I encountered on my Golf R. And the problem was that uh, uh, I went to the gas station and put the gas pump in in my filler neck on my car and pulled the handle and only a half a gallon went into the filler neck. Filler neck filled up with gas, pump shuts off, gas wouldn't go in the gas tank. And so, so began a huge amount of debug and uh, testing that I trying to figure out what the hell was going on. I took the evap can apart multiple times and I I blew air down the lines. I vacuum test the lines. I um, stuck rubber hoses down all the damn lines. <laughs> I couldn't get no damn gas in the gas tank. Okay, it was totally absolutely ridiculous. And so um, I knew there had to be a overfill, overfill or rollover valve that was hidden in the tank that had to be causing the problem. And that's when I was contacted by uh, Dustin Flath on Facebook, who said he had the same problem on his GTI and that this suction pump right here fixed the problem. And basically what's crazy about this part um, and what Dustin used the terminology, and I'll use it here too, that this is a ghost part. So this doesn't show on the diagram for the gas tank as being a part that's available for the gas tank. You're supposed to just buy a whole new gas tank. But because Volkswagen had done a recall on this in 2015 on GTIs, there was a little bit of information out there with the part number for this thing. And so uh, based on his confirmation, I went ahead and just ordered this as well as my gas tank and had them both coming. And I ended up uh, swapping this suction pump out on my gas tank and it fixed my problem. And so I want you all to know this because uh, when I was researching this, it looked like most of the dealers, at least with the newer cars, 2016 and on, that and if they had techs that had never seen or this recall from before, they have no freaking clue. They'll end up charging you for a whole brand new gas tank just for this stupid twenty, uh, $21, $22, $23 part. So don't get ripped off. Um, this is something that you should be able to do, but again, it's in the gas tank. There's going to be gas in there. There's gas fumes. You have to be really careful replacing this. Um, I'm not going to show you um, all the steps to do that. I just want to show you where this is at in the gas tank, how to get it out. Okay. So um, that's what's in the rest of the video. So hopefully you find this helpful and this will save you a ton of money if you ever happen to have those same, same problem. All right. Enjoy the video. Okay, so here is a, a Golf R or S3, Audi S3 all-wheel drive gas tank removed from a car. And I just wanted to go over a few key points. So, obviously here's the fuel filler neck where you put your gas in at here. And with my car, what was happening to me is that I would obviously put the gas pump in here, click it on and the gas would fill up right to here and stop. And so this is about a half a gallon worth of gas. Gas pump would click off. Gas was sitting right here. Uh, some of the times it would leak back into the evap tank, but I couldn't put any more gas in. So I looked through the service manuals and I saw that they talked about that there's a check valve right here um, that you can use a piece of rubber hose. It's a specific length and um, I don't remember what the length is right at this moment. But basically I fed this rubber hose down in here pushed it in the gas tank to push this valve open and I tried putting the gas in, it still wouldn't let me put the gas in. So then I tried, the next thing I tried was, um, this is the evap line right here, this secondary line coming in here and there's obviously some check valves and things in there that I'll talk about here in a second. But um, when I was at the gas station with the gas pump in here, I unplugged this evap line off of the canister, the evap canister sits right here in the wheel well. And so this is directly open to the air, back down to here some point, and it still wouldn't let me put the gas in. So then I started looking around saying, wait a minute, where's the, where's the rollover valve? Where's the overflow rollover valve on this thing? And there's nothing here. So I was like, okay, it's gotta be in the damn tank. So I was searching around on the internet Obviously, there's all kinds of cars that have had problems um, where they couldn't put gas in or where the gas pump would just shut off. And usually it was related to the overflow valve or overfill valve, 
let's be correct here, the overfill valve and um, or the rollover valve. And a lot of times they're mounted either you know somewhere um, on the spiller neck or they're somewhere here on the tank. And I kept looking all around. I put a camera underneath the car uh, and a, a borescope, and I was looking all around in here, and I couldn't see anything. I was like, well, where the hell is this damn thing at? And I know on earlier Volkswagens, um, that valve, those valves, were located up on the filler neck. And so uh, I was thinking, what in the hell is going on here? So more research, and it looked like um, basically when people had this problem um, with the Golf R's, the dealers would replace the whole gas tank. And so I ended up ordering a gas tank. This is actually the second one. The first one I ordered, the guys at the junkyard cut all the damn lines out of the inside of the tank, the power, power lines and the lines. And then they also snipped the, the damn EVAP line off of the tank. So I didn't take it. So this was the second one that came in. Uh, but by the time this had came in, um, I had found out about this uh, recall on the 2015 uh, Golf or the 2015 GTIs. And what supposedly was being done was that there supposedly was a suction pump that was inside the tank that would become, uh, would become, uh, would malfunction or would break. And then it, it supposedly would cause symptoms of not being able to put gas in to the tank and or gas would uh, purge out into the evap tank and cause gas to spray out into the wheel well and onto the ground and Volkswagen ended up fixing it because it was a safety hazard, right? There could have been some cars that possibly could have caught on fire from that. So uh, I was still wondering about this suction pump. Um, I ended up being contacted by a Facebook uh, forum member who said that on his GTI that he had a similar problem, he couldn't put gas in, and then he replaced this suction pump based off of that uh, recall. He did it himself and it fixed his problem. So when I first looked at the gas tank, I thought when, they, when this, we were talking about this suction pump, I thought, well, the only other suction pump I know of is over on this side. Uh, on the all-wheel drives, there's a suction pump over here, a venturi pump, that sucks the gas from over here and pulls it over here into the basket. And so I stuck a boroscope in here and I was like, I can't, I can't even see where there's no way to even get the hell over there. Um, this is non-serviceable on the North American cars. Um, I guess on the European cars, there's actually a cover here that's removable just like over here. So you can get down in uh, that side of the tank and service it. But for some damn reason, the North American cars don't have an access port there. So everything over there, if anything breaks over there, you're pretty much screwed, right? But uh, when I first looked in here, I was like, well, I don't see how I'm ever gonna get to the suction pump. But I, after I had stopped working on it for the night, I started thinking about it, and uh, Dustin Flath, or Flath, uh, had sent me a picture of this, of this suction pump saying this is what he used to fix his, his car. And then I started thinking, I was like, wait a minute, I remember seeing this white surface, this, this teardrop shape back in the tank in here. And so then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to order this damn thing. Because at the time, this was like, I think this is like only like a 20, $23 part, you know, and, and the tank, I think, I think I only paid like, I think I paid like 160 for the gas tank, but this is only a $23 part. And so um, I ordered this up from DAP, and I'll give you the part number on it. Um, got it in. I had the tank first. This came in the next day. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this first. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the gas tank now. Okay, so here we're going to start going down in here looking inside the, uh, um, the fuel pump hole. And there's a lot of crap down in here. But what we're going to look at is right back here. I'm going to flip the camera upside down. And that's the valve, that's the suction pump that I replaced that fixed the problem. You can see here a box in here, this black box. I'm assuming that this is where the rollover valve is at and the overfill check valve. And so this check valve in here, I'm assuming was stuck 
uh, in the closed position, probably because the uh, the pump, the suction pump, wasn't pulling the check ball valve down or open uh, when the car was running, and so it was stuck up for some reason. So um, again, at least replacing this pump right here, this suction pump. So replacing this suction pump right here uh, fixed the problem. And it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get that sucker out, but uh, the fittings and everything in here are uh, just yeah, you call it press release. Most of the fittings and most of the fittings in here are all these press release fittings. So all you have to do is squeeze the connectors, and they'll release. Squeeze them, wiggle them, pull them, and they'll come off like this blue one right here and right you just got to get your hand in here push the button in push the button in and then uh, wiggle the line pull it off and so that's the way that pump is okay so that's how it sits in there and hopefully this will focus in here so there's a bracket that's uh, on the bottom of the tank that this is slid down into and clicked into. And I still don't know, I mean, it's, it's really pain in the ass, but I kept sitting here trying to wiggle and wiggle and wiggle, and I was rolling this, trying to roll this up, and eventually it popped up. And again, the, this front fitting here just is a squeeze fitting. You squeeze on the little buttons, pull the line off. Um, same as the back one. So I basically, I took the front line off first, then, um, unclamped it, released it from the clamp that was holding it to the tank, popped it loose, turned it up, and then got behind it and pulled this connector off. And then pulled it out, swapped it out, put it back in. And it was really easy to put it back in. It's a little bit awkward though, trying to get your hand back in here to do this, especially with this in the car, because remember your floorboard right here, underneath your seat is right here, and you're working through this little damn hole and so I pretty much was like laying on the tank and trying to reach in and doing it this way or putting my hand back in here this way. It was a serious pain in the ass, but if I had to do it again, I'm sure I could do it um, a lot faster. It wasn't that bad, uh, but because I couldn't really see it very well and because there was a gas in the tank still, um, it was, uh, it took a little bit of time. But again, as soon as I put this damn thing in, I went right to the gas station and it let me put gas in. And so it's been good since and I've probably filled up nine times since then. So I just wanted to make everyone aware of this because in the recalls, they made it sound like, again, it was only 2015 GTIs. I don't think there was any um, R's listed. And um, I looked up the recalls for my car and this wasn't listed. So I think they just had a bad batch of these at for the original problem. And then, but I think in my case, this malfunctioned for some reason. Now, mine did go bad the second tank after installing um, the Hellcat fuel pump. And also, it was probably the fourth tank of Octanium that I had ran. Um, on the car and so I didn't know if the octanium had caused something in here to to mess up melt the plastic or something or I don't know who knows what or if maybe because the Hellcat fuel pump is so powerful that it was over sucking on this thing or over pressurizing it or something it caused so much suction that it jammed the damn pump who knows but replacing it fixed it so hopefully that will uh, help somebody else out if you have the same type of problem.